Here we are at the uh, Bishop Petroglyphs here in uh, the Volcanic Tablelands of Southern California. <laughs> This, is, uh, this site is designated as, as MN05 by University of Berkeley's uh, Department of Archaeology way back in 1965. This site is very well preserved, and if you've got to get one site to go visit, if you only got time for one site, this is the place to do it. The tablet behind me is probably the most remarkable at the archaeology site. Uh, it is very well preserved. It is absence of any uh, graffiti or defilement or damage. There are rocks in this area that have uh, that have been uh, desecrated and have been uh, vandalized. Very sad to see. In this rock, you can see images of humans. Uh, you see what could be a lot of uh, medicine wheels or what with the circles with the. Uh, the vertical and the horizontal stripes in it. I think there may be some snake motifs. Bugs. Bugs! Uh, other areas of the uh, site, you have what I think are elk. You have a lot of other geometric uh, drawings here at the site. There's the, the famous uh, block of squares, which looks like somebody really wanted to be a spreadsheet engineer 8,000 years ago, but I'm not sure why he would want to go that route. There's also a lot of, uh, looks like chiseled handprints. There could be some lizard motifs, uh, beetle uh, art, maybe. Again, a lot of this is not very objective, it's very subjective, and we're looking at it from a 21st century point of view. We have to go back 8,000 to 12,000 years in some cases and put ourselves in their shoes before we can ever try to understand what some of the, this imagery, these uh, petroglyphs, mean. I would say, you know, the site MN05 is probably one of the most important in the volcanic tablelands. If for no other reason, the variety of imagery in such a small geographic footprint. I mean, you, throughout the valley, there are, it's just, there's rocks strewn everywhere. And I don't know if anybody, including UC Berkeley, has ever been able to catalog them all. Let me just pan across the valley and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's rocks everywhere. The canyons are just full of rocks. And these are sizable boulders here on Fishlaw Road. And this is just one little tiny, tiny little bit of the uh, huge, vast space that's the volcanic tablelands. Now the reason these markings stay for so long is you can see other varieties of rocks, of the pumice, that are really dark, almost black in color. As you see, the background of this is black. And when you chisel down far enough, you get, you create the image. And the reason the image stays for so long is because it takes that long, it takes up to 12,000 years for the pumice to reoxidize to turn it back to its original color. The geologist calls this desert varnish, this process of where the air is essentially neutralizing the drawing. The drawing is still there because it's chiseled into the rock. It's grooved in very meticulously, but it stays for a while just because it takes that long, 12,000 years, to turn black again. And that's another reason why I don't think anyone has ever cataloged all of these petroglyphs in the volcanic tablelands is these are easy to see. You can see these very vividly. It's the ones that's been here for longer than 12,000 years that you have to take really good photography with really bright light to bring out the contrast. And, you know, to be frank, some of these old, old drawings, we may not know they're there, but they are existing fine on their own. And, and um, because maybe we don't need to know about them. From the site vandalism I have already seen here, uh, in the tablelands, including this site here, we maybe not don't need to know where they're all at. But hopefully, generations 
after me will be able to see these preserved because they are absolutely unique. I think this is an older site because uh, clearly there's a lot of carvings here that the desert varnish, the oxidation process, has already occurred. But on some surfaces, like at sundown, you can see some shapes still in the rock. So you see different images with different levels of brightness. Like these are very bright. There's some over here that's dim. So they may actually be older. So this wasn't, I don't think, created all in one day. This could have, this site here, the carvings on here, could have been uh, created over a period of thousands of years. Why was this site so popular? Who knows? Is this a major game trail? Is the carving of maybe an elk up there uh, a sign of this is a good place to hunt elk? And this is uh, part of the uh, migration route still of elk here in Southern California. So this site is well preserved. It has been defaced. It has been vandalized. I can't even show you on YouTube what it is. But if you do come up here, don't vandalize the uh, artifacts. Don't mess with them. Don't do anything. The imagery here still follows the curvilinear style of all the carvings within the tablelands. Anthropologists believe that the Mono people should be properly credited for creating all of these petroglyphs here and all across the volcanic tablelands. This is obviously the uh, work of a uh, singular culture and it should be honored as such. And that's it from the Bishop Petroglyph site, MNO-5, here in the burning hot desert. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on a channel, please. Bugs. Subscribe. And until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 and blah. And done!